I'm in the studio of Eleni Zodi, and uh, we're going to be talking about her background. I'm, I'm interested in um, your, where you got your interest in art uh, as a young as a young girl in Greece. Uh, well, as long as I can remember, and I could hold the pencil, I was drawing things, and it was fashion things mostly, and. Um, Later on, it led me into going to fashion design school. Uh, four years education, got my degree, and then my parents moved to United States with the whole family. But the major was uh, fashion design, uh, learning how to draft a pattern, learn how to cut, how to put it together, and um, uh, and uh, unlike the way they do here for co-op you go like when you graduate we we did co-op for four years like half a day was um, uh, the uh, practical experience in a very high uh, end uh, uh, atelier uh, in fact the one that I was um, a student uh, there uh, their client was the Queen of Greece at the time uh, Queen Anna Maria and uh, and then the other half day was the uh, uh, school uh, theoretical and all mm -hmm. it's been you, a tough school yeah you arrived here with your family in 1969 yes, yes. no 68 oh 68 okay and from there you began to work in the fashion industry yes at the time there were uh, maybe th four or five factories here, they're not anymore, uh, and I worked uh, Lowell Dress, it was called, the one that I liked best, uh, and I learned actually the, the couture design that I learned in, in my uh, school and the atelier, I kind of uh, married it together with the American style, with the fast machines and the uh, uh, industrial way. So I kind of was able to put those two together. And then in 1979, I opened my own shop. 2019, I decided to downsize from my shop on uh, Bridge Street. Uh, which I was there at least 10, 12 years. Uh, I decided to give it as a gift to a refugee woman from Burma. And, um, and that's what I did. And I just got my, just my one machine and things where I needed. And I transformed this to my atelier that is now. And I do mostly just appointments and mostly brides and we when we alterations and mostly when we have the uh, season for the proms a lot of girls come here for their fancy proms to help them out so it's uh it's uh, it's uh, something that i love to do and i will do it as long as i can do it yeah uh the, so the main difference is you used to do walk-in business and now you do by appointment just appointment yeah. yes we talked earlier about a uh, transition that you made from fashion to other forms of art and I've seen some of your other work. How did that, how did that happen? I guess the art um, was in me. Uh, it just, uh, in fact, um, <clears throat> there is a quote from a Greek um, famous actor, an artist, um, Kostas Vutsas is his name and I heard uh, he was in a video thing and he said the talent is no matter how far it is buried down even if you put cement on it cement has pores it's gonna come up and that's what kind of happened to me nobody guided me I just uh, did drawings and things and I uh, and I consider my fashion design that is an art form because you sculpt uh, clothing and I did a lot a lot of that a lot of um, 
custom work and big fashion shows we used to do here in Lowell for um, charities and all kinds of things and it's it's a uh, for me is uh, the experience that I felt especially when I was designing something for a fashion show you get it it's in my mind the picture comes to my mind and I think about the fabric and then uh, in fact once it was midnight and I couldn't sleep and I take my sketch pad and I do it and then when that dress <clears throat> when that dress it came to make it and then the model were wore it on on the fashion show oh I said it's alive you know from the paper it's, it's such a beautiful I don't know the words to express it. Transition. But yeah. it was just here. I put it on paper and then it, it became actual the person and, and there the person was walking in it. Uh, for the art, I always dabble with it. And I will say um, I'm self-taught artist. Yes, besides the sketching and the schooling that I had. <coughs> All the other things it just happened I had a thinking in my head and I do it like I did my village woman back in uh, 93 I think was exhibited at the Whistler House Museum and the following year I was invited to the Whistler House and I had a, a one woman show with the other concept that I have with the plaster I do plaster and um, as you saw in uh, the other at the lobby of the airlocks. Um, that time I did this, this concept was um, fossils of our time and I did about 17 pieces and everything had to do of uh, we finding uh, dinosaur bones now in the earth in a few millions of years they're gonna be finding computer chips and and uh, and and uh, guts from the computer and all that. The Village Women is also a series, isn't it? Because it's, you a, have it's becoming a series because that, that, uh, uh, well, that was the beginning of mine getting the courage to say, okay, I'm an artist. artist. The Village Woman collection, uh, the main piece is the one. Uh, that was exhibited at the Whistler House, and and that is a mm, very fast. I will I will say a little bit about it. Is about a story I heard when I was growing up uh, from uh, my parents that they were talking about somebody in the village where I was born, and. Um, it just stuck in my mind, and it was there, and it. it it was I was a little kid and I never forget that that was a woman in the village that only had girls her husband wanted a boy and they had five girls so far and then she's pregnant on the sixth so to do her chores he, she goes up the mountain to gather the wood for the daily chores and she gives birth up in the mountain all by herself she managed, gets the baby in her apron, still puts the wood in her back and goes home. And he sees that is a girl and he gives her a slap and I never forget that slap in the face. What is the fashion program? That you it's the one that I did in uh, the, oh, this fashion program, I developed this program about 20 years ago, going on 21, doing it every summer for Middlesex Community College and that's the for kids uh, they call it uh, they call it college for kids and they are from 10 to 15 years old and I do uh, this week of uh, sketching uh, designing things we give them um, donated dresses and they re cut them and under my direction and it's been going beautifully for and then we do a fashion show at the at, at the end of the week they do a fashion show 
And now the past two years we added uh, jewelry. And I make another class with jewelry making and they are incredible, incredible what they are doing. Now, I don't do that uh, cookie cutter thing. I let their brain just work and do things and um, for the fashion too. You should see the hats they make, the, the sparkles they put on and, and all that. It's like amazing. So that I'll be doing as long as, you know, even if I stopped uh, doing this here, I will be. Oh, and I do uh, sewing lessons too for people that they want to be a designer. I have private lessons too. Um, um, how often do you show overseas or how often do you travel overseas? Well, whenever, uh, I mean, the one in Skopelos Island, uh, somebody was visiting here and they have a, a center, a cultural center there. And when they found out what I was doing at MCC, they said, could you do, want to do that in Skopelos? And I did it. It was amazing. I mean, I did it in Greek. Same thing. I did the same syllables and everything. And it was like amazing. And, uh, and there are two YouTubes, 20, uh, 2016, and we did a bigger one the next year, 2017. They are in YouTube. They are under um, uh, 2016 Fashion Project Skopelos. I think you can I will, I will find it and put a link in the, in yeah, the video. Yeah, that yeah. would be good. There are two of them. Yeah. yeah. Um, and now they, they want me to do it in Kalamata, so I'll be doing that there too. Possibly next year, next summer. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work, but it's, it's, it's really, really good. Yeah. And that's where, where I think uh, letting yourself uh, express your art. Um, I don't know. For me, it gives me a joy. And that's what it's all about. What you do to have joy, to be joyful. It doesn't feel like work. I can't wait to do the sessions this, sum this summer for Middle East Community College. They're waiting. They have waiting lists for all these years. It's almost we're going on 21 years because we lost two years with uh, COVID. But uh, it's still... How going. gratifying for you. That's oh great. Oh, my God. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, I've taken a lot of your time. I really appreciate it. This has <laughs> been a lot of fun. And I want to let everybody know that your uh, your jewelry, some of your jewelry, is uh, available at the Arts League of Lowell. Yes, yes. Because Eleni Zodi is a co-op member at the Arts League of Lowell at 307 Market Street in Lowell, Massachusetts. Are you exhibiting any place else, or is this? Uh, not right now. Okay. No. All right. So thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>